Let's play. Let's okay. go inside of you. Okay. Um, I'd like to say one thing before I start the work. Yes. Is from the first uh, dialogue that you did, one of the things that I realized that I want is to feel that compassion and the, I see the radiance and the beauty in you. Yes, and, honey. I, and that's something that I, I want to embrace within me. Yes, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, it's the same, isn't it? What this work does is it brings to light the obstacles that would keep that from being obvious. Not just to you, but to all of us. Yeah, it's, I call it just simple freedom. Hmm. And it shines and it shows and it's brilliant. Yeah. I see in you so yes, much. Honey. It's just, it's breathtaking to me. I just <laughs> so respect our friendship. So let's get down. Okay. Um, I am scared and panicked. I am so angry. I'm angry at God because God promised all good. And if I believed it, um, so God promised all good. <laughs> Who told you that? I'm not saying it's not true. The church that I go to. Okay. And who told them? Somebody who wrote a book. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so God promised you all good. Mm -hmm. How does that feel when you attach to that thought and you look out and you don't see good? Yeah, godless. Just like that, godless. Mm. Mm. Squeezing it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn it around. God promised all good. Turn it around. I, I promised all good. Yeah. I lied. Yes. The point is, it, it was you, it wasn't God. You know, I see God is just rolling around heaven and all day, you know, just waiting for us to Catch up. Mm -hmm. Just knowing that we'll find the way. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next one. This is still part of the first. Should Good. I? Okay. Uh -huh. Just stay with it. Okay. Um, I'm angry because I'm tired. I'm angry because I'm scared. I'm angry because I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm angry that I'm still hang eh, hanging and holding on to this cancer. I'm angry that nothing has worked to help me heal. I'm angry at myself for not doing more. Yeah. I'm angry and I'm hurt. And I feel so hurt by all of this. <clears throat> and I feel angry at myself because I must be doing or thinking something wrong that's causing this, to, this cancer to keep going. And I feel frustrated that I, that, that I want this condition. Honey, keep reading. I want to get down to this. I am angry with myself that I created this. You and created cancer. That's what they say. That's what they say. And I want to ask you. You created cancer. Can you really know that that's true? Honey, you are as innocent as a newborn child. How does it feel when you attach to the thought, I created my cancer? My heart breaks about me. It's like you use it as the proof that you're bad. Well, you're not getting it right. Yes. So how do you live your life when you attach to the thought, I created my cancer? I don't. It's right, dead. Yes, dead. dead. Cancer is kinder than that. Can you see a reason to drop this story? I created my cancer, and I'm not asking you to drop it. You know, people love this story, because we think if we caused it, we can get rid of it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can you see a reason to drop this story? I created my cancer. Yes. 
give me a reason to keep that that is not <coughs> stressful, <laughs> well, life-taking. <coughs> give me a good reason to keep that thought. Because just maybe I might have a little bit of control and be able to do something about it. Yes, honey, now give me one that's not stressful. I'm free. Who would you be without that thought? I created my cancer. Free. Yeah, my thought was, God connected. Hmm. Connected. Who would I be without the thought, I caused my cancer? Hmm. I caused my cancer. What's the opposite of that? I didn't cause my cancer. My son was, he just, the, the one that just brought me the, the tea, he was just, um, he asked for a week with his mother after 14 years. And so I put that slot in my calendar and we took off just the two of us. And the first morning, that, well really it was the second morning, he came in to my bed like a little, little boy into my bedroom and crawled up like he was three years old and just mm. totally open and he's just remained that way now. Mm. And that's how it looks. Mm -hmm. So he went home, he cleaned his house, he cleaned up his cars, he cleaned up his garage, he got his teeth cleaned, he was just following this list. He just, it's like the war was over. He just would think it and do it. Mm. Then he went in and had a mole removed back there that he couldn't even see. And the doctor called him and said, it's the fastest growing cancer, it's melanoma. And he created his own cancer. You know, maybe it just is. Maybe it just is. It feels so cruel. Cancer is so cruel. Turn it around, my thinking, my thinking is so cruel. Of the two, which is the cruelest? Oh, my thinking. Yeah, so yes. there's nothing to heal but that. Cancer is nothing compared to this torture chamber. There's nothing else to deal with. It. That's where the freedom is. Let's look at the next one. Excuse me. For what? Sniffing in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone mind? It must have been you. <laughs> it was me. Yeah. You're very good at this, sweetheart. That's what cancer's for to bring you realization, self-realization. If you could have freedom and cancer was the only way to find it, would you choose it? Yes. Yes. Well, honey, that's but it. But I don't want to choose it anymore. Honey, you didn't choose it, it chose you. This is an old agreement, whatever it takes. But how do you, how do you recon reconcile that I, I take responsibility for my life. Well, that's all you do. I don't. I don't take responsibility for my life. You don't? No. <laughs> I take responsibility for understanding my thinking, and then my life follows as clean, as clear as my thinking. How do I get to the thinking that's creating this? The thinking is not creating the cancer in the way that you might perceive it. Okay. It would be like this. Let's go where you're going because I want you to understand this. Okay. Because it's the core that you're coming from. Here's how people create their own cancer. See if you can follow this. You have cancer. Can you really know that that's true? The doctor says so. The lab says so. Everyone says so. All of science says so. You have cancer. I'm asking you, can you really know that that's true? No, I really can't know. 
How does it feel when you attach to the thought, I have cancer? Very painful. Can you see a reason to drop the thought? And I'm not asking you to drop it. Yes. Give me a reason to keep the thought that it's not painful. That's not painful. There is none. Who would you be without the story, I have cancer? Pam. Yeah. <laughs> I have cancer. Turn it around. I don't have cancer. Yeah. Except I don't have cancer. It's just that simple. That's it. <laughs> it is just that simple. It is for me. And it is just that simple. I mean <laughs> Exactly so. I see you understand. I do. A man took me in, a physician. He said, I want to take your blood. You know, I want to, you know, I, I got to see this. He put it on a screen and said, oh my God, he's got, you know, look at the cancer. Oh my God, you should be dead. You should be dead. And I'm looking at the same screen going, oh my God, look at the life. Hmm? You know, because it was just moving. And I don't care what they call it. I see life. Hmm. He was a little contracted around it. Mm. <laughs> just a tad anal. <laughs> yeah, just a touch. Mm. Yeah. Because it's constricted. Mm. Yeah. Man. Who would I be without my story? Mm. Mm. I have a friend that, um, well, honey, I think you've got this part. Let's look at the next. Okay. I want me to be better. I want God to heal me. I want God to heal me. I want God to heal me. Um, God should hear my so prayers. So God should heal you. Uh -huh. Can you really know that that's true? That is in your best interest. Can you really know that that's true? Can I really know that that's true? That God oh, God. should heal. That God should heal your cancer. Can you really know that that's what's best for your path? No, I can't. How does it feel when you attach to the thought, I want God to heal my cancer, and the doctor says, you got it. You're, you've got cancer. I'm angry. God Pissed. Does. Angry. Can you see a reason to drop this thought? I want God to heal my cancer. <sighs> right now, honestly, no. No, that's the right answer. How does it feel when you attach to that thought? I want God to heal my cancer, and the doctor says he didn't. The image that comes up is just me stamping my foot. There's a reason to drop the story. Terror in the middle of the night. There's a reason to drop the story. Give me a reason to keep it. I see that you want it. You know, whether you do or not, I'm just, okay. I'll use that language. Give me a reason to keep the story. I want God to heal my cancer. But it's not stressful. Because it makes me feel like I have some power. Yeah, power over God. What else? My thought was you don't have to get conscious because you just leave it to the unknown. Mm. You just leave it to this, what, yeah. this being that's going to strike you healthy mm -hmm. when you already are perfectly mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Not that it wouldn't. You know, my mind is like what? going crazy with this one. Yeah. Like, so I'm not <sighs> yeah. I want God to heal my cancer. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Okay, here's one. Okay. 
I want the doctors to heal my cancer. No, I don't care. How, do you, how does it feel when you attach to that story? About the, I mean, yeah, they don't. Um, I want the doctors to heal my cancer. I don't think they can. Yeah. I think it's... <laughs> lie. I think it's my job. <laughs> oh no, you think it's God's? I think it's God's job. <coughs> Who would you be with the, without the story, I want God to heal my cancer? I don't know. Interesting, I don't know. It? Maybe connected. It's a nice one to sit with. Maybe, okay. Yes, I will. You know, I have a... I have a picture of, of me, uh, like, God, I want you to heal my cancer. I really know what's best. No, 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 you've had your shot at it. You know, you're not as wise as I am. You know, this is clear. I want you to take direction from me. I mean, who needs God when I'm it? So if I don't need God, let me heal my own cancer. Well, it's not happening yet. You know? Maybe it just is what it is. Okay. Maybe it just is what it is. I have a friend. She went to Holland with me to do a certification course. Her name is Nancy. And the staff kept saying, your eyes are so yellow. Get them checked. So she got them checked. And then the doctor made a house call, came back and said she, um, they, he used words like leukemia, all kinds of stuff, but they don't really know. Well, here she is, she has like, all this time later, she's in the hospital, I saw her a few days ago, and she has like five, five what? Five blood platelets. That's all. And they're not even hers. That she keeps, they keep giving them to her from transfusions. But the woman's not sick. That's the point. The doctors are saying, we're not quite sure what we have. We need to on and on and on. They're doing every weird thing in the world. That's love. They're doing everything they can. That's love. And... She's watching, she's clear, and she hasn't been sick yet. Mm. We're talking and they're pumping her full of chemo and she's, you know, seven days of this. She says, and you know, I just, all I can do is just be so grateful, these nurses. And she says, that she's looking out the window talking about the trees. Mm. I mean, she can't be sick. This inquiry is alive in her. Mm. Mm. The doctors can't even name it. But she doesn't want God to heal anything because she doesn't see herself as broken or sick. Mm. But it's not something she's doing. It's not some positive affirmation that's going on. It's who she is without her story. She cannot make it happen. They say, you have cancer. She's going, thank you for sharing, I understand. But she can't make it true for her. She has a life as full as anyone I've ever known. They said, like, um, the story I, I was hearing was two weeks to live, or she could do the chemo and have six months. And she's saying, Katie, I don't know why not. What do you think? I said, well, I certainly don't know why not. You know, she doesn't know why not. She just gives herself to love. She just gives herself to what is. So her medical is as or more effective than anyone ever known because there's no stress there. Hmm. Let's look at the next one. I want God to heal my cancer, turn it around. I want me to heal my cancer. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I really do. Okay, so you ask yourself, I have cancer. Can I really know that that's true? No. How does it feel when you attach to that thought? Attached to the thought of? I have cancer. Uh, it's constricted. Can you see a reason to drop the thought? Yeah, I can. Who would you be without it? Someone I want to find out. Yeah, someone living life fully. Yes, that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, no one has time for cancer. He's just focused on a concept. Okay. Yeah. And in the clarity of that, you know, you go to the doctor. Okay. It's just a, like going to the grocery store. You know, you do this, do that. Get a life. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Honey, do you have All War Belongs on Paper? Pardon? Do you have the book All War Belongs on Paper? No, I don't. Okay, I'd like to gift you that as you leave. Nahid, if you would give her that. Okay. Thank you. You just keep walking yourself through this. Yes, honey. I was wondering if Pam was sitting there listening to your story about your friend Nancy and, and, and then wondering why she couldn't be like that. I still am Inquiry. perceiving you as beating yourself up there, you know? I mean, it's painful. Yeah. yeah, that's why she's sitting here. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Why doesn't Nancy? She's been in inquiry for a couple of years. She's a therapist and she gives it to her clients every day she practices. So every time you give it to someone, you get it. Okay. Let's look at the next one. God should hear my prayers. Is that true? No. I should hear my prayers. That's it. You're the one. <clears throat> How does it feel when you attach to the thought, God should hear my prayers? I mean, I'm just between um, angry and helpless. Yeah. And who would you be without that story? God should hear my prayers. F free. If I didn't have that story. Yeah. Yeah. I should hear I'm my burdened. prayers. I'm burdened. Yeah, it's like, God, help me. Turned around, Pam, help, help me. me. Help me. Yeah, in the moment. And it's not a physical thing you need help with. No. Get out all war and sit down and give you life. Let's look at the next one. It's just, um, God should help me with this, and he isn't. He hasn't helped me at all. He hasn't helped me, and he promised he would. Turn it around. I should help me with this, and I haven't. I haven't helped me at all. I haven't healed me. And I promised I would. <laughs> I broke my promise to me. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't God. <laughs> we so begin ashamed. now. Oh, honey, we begin now. We begin now. Tell me more about that. <laughs> because I broke a promise to me. <laughs> so tell me about that. Can you tell me about it? If it's comfortable. What promise was that? I'm not sure. Yeah. I just feel in my heart. Yeah. Yeah, well, honey, it's the, I broke, probably I broke that connection off somewhere. That's the broken promise. Okay. And we begin now. That's what okay. this work is about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it's severed. Okay. There's another turnaround. Um, I. I should help God with this. Yes. Man. <laughs> That's my job. I'm supposed to help God. Yeah. I'm supposed to help God. Yes, Angel. <laughs> I know in my heart now I'm supposed to help God with this. Yes. My head doesn't know what to do, though. Ah, it doesn't need to. It doesn't? No. Excuse me. Here's how you can help God. You help yourself. Okay. You use, you use inquiry to stay sane. Okay. And in that, okay. we help God. Keep reading okay. it. Okay. I should help God help me with this, and I haven't. I should, um, he hasn't helped me at all. Um, I, I haven't helped me at all. Helped him at all. I haven't helped God at all. I haven't helped no. God help me at all. That's right. You keep dictating. I haven't helped. You healed me. Mm. You heal me. You do this. You do that. Mm. Because as long as it's out there, I don't have to do nothing.
I don't have to do anything. No. On both levels, as long as it's out there, I don't have to do anything. That's right. And as long as it's in here, I don't have to do anything. That's right. Um, it's got to be closer. Okay. Can't be out there. Okay. Okay. The next one. I haven't helped God heal me. And oh, I... You're too busy dictating. Mm -hmm. You make me well. You heal my cancer. Mm -hmm. But with all humility, with all the tears, with all of the... Until you listen. What I say is prayer is a beautiful thing if you're listening. Listening to my own prayer? Yes. God help me. Katie, help you. You know, get present. Mm. You know, get, get real. Mm. And Pam, you know what to do. Mm. Let's look at the next. Okay. Oh. You know, if, and if you don't know what to do, inquire. When, when you're not comfortable, inquire. There's nothing else to do. That's how I help God. I stay clear. And then when I get an order, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. I do it. It says, brush your teeth. I go on my way. Mm -hmm. And just continuing to do the inquiry and the work, regardless of what it is or what issue it is, just keep doing it. And the layers will come off. Yes, and I'll hear, and I'll Yes. Get the connection. Exactly. Okay. That's what uh, cancer's for. Okay. Yeah. It's no choice, Pam. You're either attaching to concepts or inquiring. Mm. Okay. A thought appears, you attach to the nightmare mm -hmm. and contract mm. or you investigate mm. and open mm. until eventually you can't make this happen. Mm. And that's freedom. That's connection. Okay. And the next. Okay. Do you want me to go on? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Same stuff. I it always <laughs> is. <clears throat> I need God to help me with this. I need God to help me heal my body. Is I need, that true? No, no. I need me to help me heal my body. And there's another turnaround. I need me. I need me to help God to heal my body. I need me to help me heal God's body. What? <laughs> Here it is. Oh, man. This is God's body. Mm? Oh. This can never belong to me. Man. This is not mine. This is God's body. I love you noticed. God wouldn't want a body with cancer. Oh. You think? Honey, I know he does. There it is. Mm, man. <laughs> Doesn't matter then. I'm a child of God. That's it. Damn. I don't belong to me. I don't call the shots on this. I'm a servant. An on my knees servant. Let me be a servant. He takes this arm. I offer this one. This is not mine. Mm. I have inquiry. Mm. It's hope. <laughs> yeah, it's real. It's real. Let's look at the next. Okay. I need God to hear me and be with me and love me and bless me. Is that true? No. Feel that. Maybe that is the blessing. Maybe that is the blessing. Turn it around. I need, I need me to hear me. I need me to be with me. I need me to love me. And I need me to bless me. Yeah. Just the way you are. Cancer. Oh, yeah. 
I was with a friend who called and she was dying and she had cancer. And she called and I went in and I sat with her and we held hands and, and at some point after the visit I was leaving and she said, oh, Katie. It was like, in her opinion, the last time we would see each other and then her opinion died. But <laughs> that's the only thing that ever dies, you know, or lives. But I was leaving and she said, Oh, Katie, I love you so much. I love you with all of my heart. And I said, No. Until you love your cancer, you cannot love me. Because every concept that she would attach to that cancer is what she would attach to me the first time I didn't agree with her. Man. That's <laughs> Man, man, because it's the same thing. It's yes. still out there. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. I mean, just different clothes. Just That's right. Kind of so it's only concepts to deal with. Okay. Which would imply an outside. So just spontaneously, Pam, fill in the blanks. Cancer is deadly. Okay, see how this feels. People are deadly. God is deadly. You see? It's across the board. Across the board. Cancer is deadly. <laughs> yeah. So all we need to deal with here is concept. Mm. Is it true? Can I really know that it's true? And it falls across the board, across all of world and creation. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next one. Okay. I'd like to redo this one. Good. Um, I need me to hear God. Oh. I need me to be with God. I need me to love God. And I need me to bless God. Yes. Because you've been so focused on dictatorship and cancer. There's no room. Oh, you know, I'm always judging my mama about that. <laughs> and were you listening? <laughs> and that's it. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm wearing the clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, this self-realization stuff, what a hoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nowhere else to go but inside. It really isn't. Yeah. That's what I want. You know? Let's look at the next. Okay. Mm. I need God to help me. Uh, I need me to help me, and I need God. I need me to help God. Yeah. Now you're in a position where you have some control. You want to control? This is where you've got it. Okay. You don't have. Con you you have no control over God. Okay. The next. Um, I think God is mean. I think God doesn't care. I think God has turned its back on me. I think God has abandoned me and has blessed everyone else but not me. I think God hates me. I think God doesn't care about me. Yeah. And can you really know that that's true? No. Maybe he cares so much he would give you cancer. Mm -hmm. How does it feel when you attach to the thought, God doesn't care about me? It's very painful. Can you see a reason to drop the story? Yes. Who would you be without it? A breath. Oh, yeah. Let's turn it around. Okay. I think I am mean. Sometimes. Sometimes. To you. Yes. I think I don't care about me. Yeah. Sometimes. I think I have turned my back on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you've turned your back on you and you focus on a concept such as, I gave me cancer. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. focus, focus, focus. I gave me cancer. That was the one you started with. Yes. It's your fault you have cancer. That's where you focus, so there's no room for anything else. But new thought movement, it's a concept. That's all. That's all. 
How do we know that it's true? Right on. <laughs> I think she's got it. Hmm. Man. Another concept. That's all. That's all that's ever happened. Okay. That's all that ever will happen. Okay. Let's look at the list. Keep okay. working that. Okay. Um, I think I, I, I think I have turned my back on me. I think I have abandoned me, and I have blessed everyone else, but not me. <laughs> but how could I do that? <coughs> Can't do that. I don't right. do me. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I hate me. Yeah. Oh, I do. Yeah. Man. To the very depths of my soul. you get to you, the closer you get to God, the closer you get to God, the closer you get to you. Please help me, me. Yes, honey. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I have sinned. Takes on a whole new meaning, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I have. Sin is a word for innocence. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Forgiveness is seen. What we thought happened didn't. We're just children doing the best we can. Okay. Realization is everything. Mm-hmm. It's Inquiring. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I think I think I don't care about me. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That's changing. Okay. Yes, it's yeah. changing. Because it's not possible. The more painful it is not to care about you, shows you how much you really do care. Mm. <coughs> Am I like you? Yeah. And the next? May I turn these around again? Absolutely. Um, let me see if I can do this. I think I am mean to God. Yeah, dictatorship here. That is cruel. I think I don't care about God. Not at all. Certainly not about His plan. Mm-hmm. I really don't. It's been my plan. That's right. I've trusted that more than God. Exactly so. Mm-hmm. Exactly so, but only totally. I think I have turned my back on God. Yeah, for your plan. Yes. Man. Man. For my plan. Oh, yeah. Man. How do I know my plan's better? better? That's right. To you, it's just not working. Sure in the hell isn't. <laughs> no, it's not. You know That's it's right. not. Yeah, I see. Anytime I see your pain, I see your plan's not working. I think I have abandoned God. Yeah, for your plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll love you later, God. You give me what I want, then we'll hook up. Yeah, you know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> After you do this for me, then that's right. it's real conditional. That's right. And man, always judging my mother about that. Man, <laughs> it's nobody else but me. Okay. Okay. 
I'm not sure if this is right, but I think I have allowed God to bless everyone else. Yeah, in your mind, in your plan. Mm -hmm. Blessing yes. him, her, yes. them, but not me. Yes. Okay. Allowing that concept without investigating it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that I hate God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But only when he doesn't do what I want him to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even accuse him of loving other people more than you. I really have. Yeah. Maybe that thread will work. Mm -hmm. You know, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And then, if they say you don't have any cancer, you have taught yourself that dictating to God is how you got it. If the doctor says your cancer's all healed, you have trained yourself to believe that violence directed at God is how you pulled it off. And yes. And you're blind being. to the gift of cancer or no cancer. You know, Pam, I'm a lover of reality. That's it. You what? God, I'm a lover of reality. Okay. That's it. Because when I argue with it, I suffer. Mm -hmm. And yet, in the clarity of that, I experience amazing action mm -hmm. and creativity and efficiency. Mm. Wow. The war is over. God says, I have cancer, I go, okie dokie. No cancer, okie dokie. This is not my business, this is not mine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um. <coughs> you know, I have a, a thought that says, go to a doctor, I go. This is not my life. Hmm. Next. Okay. And I don't. I think that I don't care about about God. Okay. Yeah, at all, or His plan, mm -hmm. or her plan, whatever it is for you, the mm -hmm. plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I care everything about it. Mm -hmm. I may as well. Here it is. Mm -hmm. No choice. Mm -hmm. No decision, no fear. All my decisions are made for me. I don't make them. Mm. I'm free. I would much rather be free. And the next? I don't ever want to experience being abandoned by God again. I'm willing. I'm willing to experience being abandoned by God again. Yes. You feel that fear, it'll put you back into inquiry. Okay. That's the point of fear. And I am willing to experience being abandoned by me again. Yes. Okay. I don't ever want to experience pain and suffering again. Yes. I, I am willing. To, yeah. I, I look forward to experiencing pain and suffering again. Yes. Yeah. Well, when we know what to do with it, bring it okay. on. Good to do because work. when that's done, you're it's free. gone. It's gone. Okay. I don't you know, you'd you have the thought, Oh God, please heal my cancer and break out into incredible laughter. The same thought that brought hell can bring laughter when it's understood. Okay. I don't ever want to experience cancer again. <coughs> I'm willing. I am willing, I am willing. I am willing to experience cancer again. I look forward to. I look forward to experiencing cancer again. It'll put you into inquiry. Okay. Inside. That's what cancer's for. Okay. Okay, Angel. And that's it. Sweet. It's a beginning. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, honey. So, 
hopefully it'll come up again and you can sit with it. Okay. And sit with it. Okay. Yes, honey. Um, hi, fam. I'm Joe. Um, I really love to watch on your face when you did the turnaround for I didn't create the cancer. Mm-hmm. Um, just the, the, uh, the relief on your face. and like, how could that possibly be true? And uh, that really affected me because I, I live with that a lot. Mm-hmm. I created this, I created that, and the, the blame. So um, I, I felt that relief as well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You know, I love that, that question, I have cancer, can I really know that it's true? You know, who named it that? Mm-hmm. Who, took, who took perfection and, and you, know, it's, you know, I don't have words for it, but it's, it's like my mother told me that, that that's a sun in the moon, you know? What did they tell you? Did they tell you the same? Did you ask you? Mm. Or were you just always so gullible? Mm. It's a sky. Did you ask you? Maybe it just is without separation or division. Mm. Maybe it is just the beauty of itself, all of it. Mm-hmm. It just is what it is, beautiful. Good. It is what it is, good. Yes, sweetheart. Pam, I just want to thank you because I, um, (laughs) at first I thought, well, you know, when you started doing your piece that, you know, this is going to be really, I had my whole story about your piece before it even started. This is going to be a good one. But what I saw was that (sighs) it released a lot of blame that I've been holding stories around my own experience of both of my parents dying of cancer in a very short period of time and me not believing that I didn't me thinking I didn't do enough or they would still be here it was really painful and obviously it still is so I wanted to thank you for helping for doing this piece you know, my son, when they, they um, went back in to do a larger biopsy, he, through all of it, you know, he, he was saying, how do, know I, how do I know I'm to live? I'm breathing. And then he says, Mom, they made an incision much longer and much deeper than they told me they would or that was necessary. And he says, I think it's just because they liked me so much. <laughs> You know, the guy's missing the whole pain experience. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Inquiry. Okay. Inquiry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Pam, honey. Welcome home, honey. Mm. Thank you. And you. Yeah. Stay tight.